This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We're on a job in Jamestown today. We've got a sump pump discharge line that has failed and the, it burned out the sump pump and the homeowner called me out to run a new line. So the homeowner got this exposed. That's the old line. We're going to be running a new line here. And we're pretty sure the line goes right across under this maple tree and that that's what caused it to fail. So we're just going to abandon the old line and run a new one. This is the existing sump pump line. We had some really heavy rains and the homeowner dug this out and just cut it so the water would come out of here. But what we've got here is we've got inch and a quarter non-pressure line. So I don't know why anybody would put this stuff in, but it just it doesn't it, it's just really really thin wall. So luckily I carry all these fittings. This is a pressure inch and a quarter to inch and a half bushing. So we'll be able to use that to hook into our correct pipe for the sump pump. That's inch and a half pressure line there. Venture that I got, this is a Groundhog T4 model. And we've used it a couple times, but I envisioned this would be a good job for this because we're not going to be tearing the, the lawn up too much. This thing digs four inches wide and we're only putting in an inch and a half pipe which has a two inch outer diameter. And so we quickly found out that this little trencher, it does work pretty well, but it does not do very well with roots at all. And so here you can see Jeremy trying to get this. And one, once we got away from that tree, it was working okay. But other than that, this thing didn't really work that great. We had to cut a lot of those roots by hand. And so I think this trencher still has a really good place in the business. And as long as we're away from roots, it works pretty well. As part of this job running this new sump pump discharge line, we are coring a new hole for the discharge to come through the curb right here. And take a look there to the left of the cord rail. You can see that squished up piece of PVC. That's the old discharge line. And so it turned out that this little neighborhood here had a bunch of outfalls going through the curb. So I'm, I'm going to give you a tour of those at the end of the video. Can you do a little, maybe like a couple tiny taps? Whoa, 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 right there. Maybe one more of those. All right, a couple more. Whoa, right there. Yep, let's leave it right there. We are finished with this job, so we're just going to go turn the pump back on and see how we do. Oh, you turned it on? I like that straw there, Jeremy. I unplugged it. Okay. It'll fill back up. Okay. Thanks. Go ahead. Pumping it out? Oh yeah. 
Nice. See if we got a puddle out here. It's a whole lot better than staying and hanging out in your crawl space. Yep. All right, we've been watching this pump come on a couple times it here. And I wanted to show you this is what our curb coring looks like. And viewers are always asking about how, why, you know, how we core it and if we have to get a permit and stuff. So I just wanted to take a tour of this little neighborhood, this cul-de-sac right here, and show you some of the existing outfalls. And there's a, there's a few more down there, but you get the idea.